Hey you. Greetings and salutations to ya. The verse has so much going on that it's easy for us to miss the details in the trees because we're too busy looking at the whole forest. Sometimes the advantages are in the details and it's worth it to catch up on them in the pursuit of money, power, respect, or just day-to-day -day survival. As most of us know by now, Star Citizen has light survival mechanics. You're not gonna die if you don't eat and drink every 15 to 20 minutes. You can go at least a few hours with no noticeable effects. Depending on how much running and jumping you're doing since that burns up calories and dehydrates you over time, you gotta get below 15% hydration before you're in any real danger. But at some point, you're gonna have to start taking care of yourself, playboy. You won't be able to run as far as fast, your vision will start getting blurry. You'll be out there looking just pitiful like some of my buddies when they found out. You won't be able to walk around your ship when Odyssey launches. Eventually, if you don't shovel something in your meatball hole, you're gonna croak. Love it or hate it, if you don't want to give up the ghost, you gotta take care of yourself to a reasonable extent. So let's look at what's good to throw in your metabolic fire before you start sailing through the vacuum. Like up, sub up, and ring up like a boss. Just like having a variety of armor and weapons available makes you ready for just about any type of situation that may come up, having a variety of food and drink increases your likelihood of surviving in any given situation. Right now, we're limited in what we're able to carry in our personal inventories, so in 3.10.x, to store food in your inventory it has to be in a sealed container. Once you've opened it up, there's no putting it back. What can you put in your inventory? Sodas, bottled beverages, MRE rations, protein bars. Like I said, things with a container. Can't be walking around with coffee ice cream dripping out your armor down the back of your leg. Then you gotta explain to somebody that it ain't what it look like. Just not a good look, man. Not a good look. Typically, you need torso armor, which have varying storage capacity to be able to store anything. So, not quite sure why I was able to store this drink because torso armor rocking, I am not. Surprisingly, you can't throw it in backpacks right now. <laughs> where do you get food though? Just about any place where anything else is bought and sold. Cities, rest stops, Port Olisar. I see a lot of new folks frantically searching for food in P.O. Like your drunk friend in the Uber after the nightclub let out. Is there a McDonald's open? <laughs> At P.O. you can find water in the cassava clothing store and survival type food in the gun store. Guns, ammunition, and snacks. Hits the spot. Will it fill you up? Yeah. Is it the best food? Nah, brethren. If you want the stuff to keep your body rocking right, you gotta do like you do during your first and last week on the keto diet and read the labels. Well, not really read the labels, but click more info and take a look at what you're buying. When the info pops up, you've got the NDR or HEI and the effects of each food along with a short description. NDR, Nutritional Density Rating. The higher the rating, the better it is for your overall health. An ice cream cone has an NDR of 10, a burger is 38. How far they'll go with this down the road remains to be seen. Drinks have an HEI rating, Hydration Efficacy Index. This represents how efficient a drink is at keeping you hydrated, so the higher the number, the longer you can go without needing a drink. I haven't found any supporting documentation, but it only makes sense that the NDR for solid foods works the same way and that a higher NDR will keep your gut full for longer. A burger has a rating of 38 and an apple is 18. Have you ever had just fruit for breakfast? That is the worst. 45 minutes later and you starving like a pimp with no employees. We all know the plural of anecdote doesn't equal data, but it only makes sense, so just roll with a Jordan Bill. Roll with me, roll with me. Smoothies have solid and liquid components, so they both have an HEI and NDR rating, along with a few other foods. But these ratings only tell half the story. What's just as important, probably more important, is to look at the buffs that each food provides. Hypermetabolic, you burn the food faster, making you hungry quicker. Hypometabolic slows down digestion so that you're satisfied longer. Hydrating keeps you hydrated longer. Dehydrating, self-explanatory. Immune boosting protects you from succumbing to harmful elements. What those elements are, don't know because I don't think they're in the game right now. Energizing, that's a stamina boost. Hypertrophic, this is where you get them gains for strength. I imagine this helps with run speed, maybe hand-to-hand -hand combat and body dragging as well. Atrophic, Opposite of hypertrophy. 
Cognitive boosting makes your thinker work better so you can focus on difficult tasks. What does this affect now? Nothing comes to mind. Maybe down the road it'll affect making repairs and hacking systems. I don't think there's anything that it affects right right now. Cognitive impairing. Alcoholic drinks are cognitive impairing and a lot of us know how that goes down. One thing to note is that different flavors of the same product don't have different effects or ratings. A double hamburger is just as good as a veggie burger. There are other effects that have been data mined, but these that I've listed are foods that are readily available for purchase as of 3.10. The harvestable consumables you can find on planets might have other effects like healing or toxic, but good luck finding those. I've seen one, maybe two folks on Reddit that have successfully found harvestables and that was with a team of folks. And I think they found just a single fruit. <laughs> What's going on, CIG? When can a brother walk around with a basket and go fruit picking? The Golden Madman and Patambu fruit seems to be the rock stars of the food game. High NDR and HEI ratings and it got some positive effects going on. The Golden Madman is what I'd stock up on going into any extended on foot situation. You can run, jump, and keep your body moving for a long time while also staying hydrated. The Pataba will get the job done too, but it kind of looked like a tomato radish, so <laughs> I'ma personally pass on that genetic anomaly there. So what did we learn? <laughs> get my Disco Lando on. The higher the NDR and HEI rating, the higher you can stay full and hydrated. Hydrating and a hypometabolic are effects that push that even further. You are what you eat, people, and now you can be a little more prepared when you step out for a long hike or some good old speed lunking. One thing I'd really like to see at some point are varying body types that are affected by what you eat. Some taller folks, some shorter ones, some fat ones, some roided out ones. San Andreas style, where a sedentary citizen looks different from a new Babbage Commons rat. We got that nice looking gym there. Is it just for show? On the other hand, it wasn't so long ago when there were problems getting the female characters to work right in a variety of situations, so... I know it's not that easy, but maybe in the future when more of the groundwork is complete. For now, I'd like to be able to sit down and eat. I'm kind of hoping that when we have more than finger food, like some bennies or anything that requires at least a fork, then it'll take longer than just a single bite. I'd like to be able to sit down for a meal with the homies during a long quantum jump. I mean, while we're wishing, I'd like to be able to cook. The 890 got that butamous kitchen. Don't let NPCs do all the work, man. Let me get back there and cook for my org, overcooked style. My body is ready, CIG. Big capital ship class, shout out to the executive bosses of this joint. Ike the subliminal show enough, making boss moves. Odin Red Jello Deluxe rocking like a boss. Gino Garen commanding Corvettes like a boss. Hold on, Tarboy and his villain is rocking like a boss. Mike Alvira mysterious like a boss. Saucy one, the flossy one, pushing iron like a boss. Slick Dick Dansley, debonair dandy like a boss. And them hero rocking like a boss. Commander if a if blackout, crank them tunes like a boss. Shot and keen lurking in the shadows like a boss. Diedrichs rocking like a boss. Bane Iron Crane rocking like a boss. Phantasm, Mighty Moons dry like a boss. JP Stravinsky kicking the door wide open like a boss. Much love, execs, you are appreciated. Big 7 Up salute and shout out to all the fans supporting the dig that in space and marks. Salute to the mother, bust a boy, guillotine girl, SM, generalissimo, commander Dr. Digital, Space Pirate, McMorgan, Zaylin Maru, commander Leviathan Soul, Time Alpha 2020, Train Man Rob, Epion Next, Dead Eye, Dead Eye, Ooh, Bust a Psycho, Figment, Weasel, Titan Prime, Crash Test, Zed, and Smoked Mito, Big Thanks Fan Beanos, and shout out to everybody subbed up like a boss. My name is Dig That and I flip birds when the space cops show up. <laughs>